Okay, here's the reason why it's important to pull on the golf club in transition. When we swing the club back, we create some momentum. So what I mean by that is when the arms and the club swing back, it's kind of gaining some, some energy, some speed. So a good example, if I let go of the club at the top of my swing, you can see it travels in the direction of where the target is. So the momentum is going towards the target. Doesn't matter what I swing, when I let go at the top, you can see it wants to go that way. Okay, it doesn't want to come down, uh, just drop straight down to the floor of gravity. It's not coming down on its own momentum because the momentum's going towards the target. You know, any object that you swing and let go at the top, you can kind of see that, that happening in the swing. Now, if you take Bryson DeChambeau, for example, he swings back pretty quick, like really quick. So you can imagine if he was making a full swing and he let go of the golf club at the top of his swing here, it'd be way out over the trees there. So how is he going to start or change the direction of that momentum just from his body? which is what everybody seems to be banging on about. Everyone seems to be going on about from the top of the swing, leave the arms alone, fire the lower body. Well, if the club is still going backwards towards the target, effectively, and you're trying to fire down here, what do you think is going to happen? Okay, you're going to get all separated. You're going to be completely out of sync and sequence, and you're not going to hit the ball very well. So the only way you can change the direction of that momentum is to pull it in the opposite direction. So as the club is going back and the momentum is going back this way, what we have to do with your hands is pull it back the other way. That's how we do it. So I'm just going to show you with the stretch band here. I've just got it hooked around the pull-up bar. So when I pull on this, I can feel it wanting to pull back. So we're going to kind of imagine that's the, the momentum of the club going back. Remember when I let go of that golf club, the club didn't fall to the ground, okay, gravity didn't pull it down, it didn't have any momentum going back down to the ground, the momentum went towards the target as you could see. So we can kind of feel it with this band here, and if you go to the gym just use the cable pull as well, you get the same type of feeling as well. So I'm going to grip it, and then I'm going to get to the top of my backswing, and I'm going to feel a little bit of tension where it's, it's trying to pull my arms back up basically. Um, I can't, it doesn't feel like my arms are just going to fall. You know, it's, it's kind of held in place here as you can see. I'm nice and relaxed. That's where my arms are, are held in place. If I let go of it, relax my arms, you can see they're going to fall, all right? But remember we've got that momentum going this way. And um, what we need to do is change the direction of the momentum. And this is what people don't really understand okay they're that focused on getting to the top of the swing and from there trying to fire the body and leave the arms alone they're completely forgetting about this this move and it's really important to pull the club in transition so you can change the direction of the momentum so you tell me what looks good right so if i get to the top right this club's going back and we, we're transitioning i'm going to fire my body my feet legs hips and everything Okay, what's happening? So my arms are pretty much staying where they are. Lower body's got way ahead of everything, right? And it, it feels pretty awkward. And we don't really see many good players in that position. Okay, it feel quite unstable on my feet as well. Versus getting to the top. And then from there, what we want is a, a lowering of the body. So I want to feel like I'm squatting down a bit. Now, if you do this in the gym with a cable pull, uh, the more weight you add, the more you're going to feel that you need to squat down so you can pull it like this. And that's what we want. Okay, we get to the top, we've lowered, and then from there we're trying to change the direction of the momentum, momentum so we're then pulling the club, the, the grip end of the golf club here, we're pulling it down, we feel pressure going down, we feel like we're squatting downwards, I feel like I'm pushing into the ground. Because remember, your arms are quite a long way back, and then we've got to get them down to match up with the body rotation because what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of great players when they transition and then when they come down really squatting at this point here as opposed to being way open like this so we need that to get that squat 
as we transition down, as we're pulling it, backside out, pulling down, lowering the body. Now we're in a great position where we've got a lot of stability. I'm stacked, so my upper body stacked on top of my lower body. And then from there, I can match the arm swing here with the body rotation, bring everything through together for maximum club head speed. So get yourself one of these bands. It's really cool because you can feel what I'm talking about. Um, kind of makes a lot more sense when you do it this way. I hope this video has helped you out. I hope you can understand that you have to pull the club in transition to change the direction of the momentum. It's really important to do that. You also need to pull it so you use centripetal force. Okay, that's where all your power comes in from in the golf swing. So you have to pull the grip in transition to use that force as well. Thanks for watching.